Hi guys and welcome. You're joining me today. I'm going to be doing a bit of a repair job on a pair of my favourite jeans. These are the jeans in question and I've had these years. I've had them years but I love the colouring of them and other than the hems there's nothing wrong with them whatsoever. So this is what I'm dealing with. That's on one leg. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put a normal hem on them. I'm just going to unpick the hem and then I'm going to stitch about an inch up and then I'm simply going to fray the hems. Um, so it's just creating a different type of look. So I'm going to start off by unpicking the hem. Right, so that's all unpicked. So what I'm going to start off by doing is where this bit is all damaged, the bit that's been turned over, so it's just, if you like, what was the inside, I'm going to cut all the way around and cut all that off. So that is just the damaged uh, inside of the hem. And I'm going to do the exact same on this one. Okay. I can't really do it from front. Okay, so that is the bottom. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to the machine and first of all, I'm going to reinforce where the seams are on both sides. Now for a beginner, what reinforcing means is, now if I pull that, it's going to start to come undone because I've cut it off. So I'm going to put it to the machine and I'm literally going to back tack several times to, to make sure that that is not going to come undone. I'm then going to stitch an inch up going round. So I'm just going to start by reinforcing the side seams. I'm giving that a good back tack. Now over this bit here what I'm going to do, because this is the one where you've got your double stitching on, all I'm going to do with that is I'm simply going to go to the very edge and I'm just going to keep running over that the other leg going to go around the inside and I'm going to take it so it's an inch and I'm going to run the denim I've got an, in, an inch marker on my needle plate that I'm just running up against to make sure that it's, it's the same all the way around
So that is all finished. You can see there where I've sewn my inch. So I'm now going to start the process of actually pulling the denim to start fraying them. So all I'm doing, where well you can see the um, the denim there, I'm going to the top and I'm just lifting the top thread up. Right, so I want to keep doing this off camera. So this is the hems with the frayed. So I've frayed them right up to where I stitched. That you can see them there. Now it is a bit of a lengthy process um, when you're actually doing this. Uh, some denims you can just get a thread and it'll pull undone. With this one I wasn't quite as lucky. It actually took me about just over an hour and a half to do those two legs. Um, so I'll go and try them on and you can see how they look like on. Okay, so this is the final look with my jeans and the new hem. Uh, I quite like the look. So they certainly look much better than the tattier hems that was on them before. So guys, it's an easy enough process to do, it's just a bit time consuming. But if you've got hems that are sort of looking tired or ragged, uh, it's certainly an option for updating your hems. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this little revamp on my hems. Thanks for watching everybody. See you soon. Bye for now.